so hello everyone welcome to yourpedia education so today we are here at iit roper and i got an opportunity to interact with one of the phd scholar here and who is pm rf fellow 2 so hello aritro hello sir so thank thanks a lot for taking out the time to meet with us today so yes, you are going sir. to be the window for the external world especially for those student who are you know aspiring to join iit roper or any of the iit for the phd programs right so this discussion will be you know related to pmrf what is pmrf actually and if you are looking forward to join phd as a academic position to fulfill your you know future objective then what all things you need to start learn and what will be the journey kind right what all aspect you will be covering so that will be the take away from this video so aritro first please can you start with introducing yourself uh, so my name is aritro das i have completed my masters in iit roper only in 2018 then i completed in 2020 i joined the phd in iit roper as a high voltage engineering student then i got the pmrf in 2021 my area of research includes the high voltage cable testing mainly the fault location of the power cables and uh, i also uh, interest in uh, power equipments uh, and uh, transformers so yes. okay that's great that's great see the very first question here is you are in the right position sitting right so you completed your master from premier institution like iit roper only mm. so i am sure you might have a lot of uh, you know corporate opportunity also yes so yeah. why you decided to go with the phd what was your uh, you know decisive point why you decided to join the phd is it something related to your future objective or your internal thrust uh, see it's about my internal thrust uh, as i told ki for the joining a phd is like uh, following your passion right you can join a cooperative world you will get 18 to 20 lakhs package more than that right, from an right. iit but uh, you are joining as a phd you are getting 31000 it's right, right. extremely less right when compared to your fellow mate True. but uh, when you join a phd it's like follow your passions you have to know something you have to discover something right right, right. that is why i joined the phd true 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 as you told you joined the phd and then you got the pmrf right so can you tell us uh, and uh, our viewers what this is basically this pmrf is how one can avail this pmrf how one can get benefits of pmrf initiative what all initial screening is done uh, see pmrf uh, is the mainly the prime minister research fellow so to avail that uh, one should go there are two main uh, way we, one can get a pmrf one is direct entry another one is the lateral entry for the direct entry uh, you should have done your masters and has got admissions in any of the premier institute 26 21 that has been in the pmrf scheme and uh, when you would have got an opportunity to do the phd in a pm in a institute then your master cg of the first semester should be greater than 8 and another scheme is that the lateral entry that one can join it after one year completion of that course work in the phd and uh, after completions the first semester or the total cgpa that he or she is having should be greater than 8.5 that is the two main criteria to getting into the pmrf right, scheme right, right. so pmrf is actually giving you the exposure exposure means uh, to the industry it is not only you are getting 2.5 times the money that a phd student got but the main thing is that key about the exposure you are working with some of the industry maybe you can work as individually also but most pro, most thing most of the students mainly work as an industry project so that will not help uh, in getting a day to day problem but also think of the new aspects can bring out the new patents or the new things that to the new to the world right that's great that's great so aritro here i want to know from you basically what is the structure of phd here at iit roper i mean how many credits they have for the course and after what time you switch towards the research statements and these all things uh, see one can begin the research uh, from the very first day okay so the number of minimum credits one is required is 12 credits okay and after 12 credits uh, they have to uh, give one compre exam right, comprehensive right. exam and after the thesis proposal but right. if one has to do a serious phd from the very first day he can he can uh, try out to learning about new things what is going on the lab right, what right. about the literature survey he can do right right, right. so these are the things uh, in iit roper it uh, took 
most of the people uh, we have completed phd in four and two four and a half years right maximum time frame is five years right, right, right. so one can able to do because i know some people also has done phd in three years also. right right right, right, right. So it depends how much you are giving to give the input right 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 so as you have completed your master from IIT Roper only and you continuously you know started doing PhD from here only hmm. most of the time whatever people you know wanted to take the different flavors hmm. like somebody completed master from here he want to PhD from Delhi and somewhere else hmm. so what was uh, the motivation behind that let's continue PhD from here only hmm. see when I joined a P uh, masters I got a problem okay right. and then I began to do the research in the problem in my masters uh, second year so what I feel is that key that problem is a big problem, right? So if I leave the problem in between, my master's work is incomplete. My true, PhD, true. I'm going again to a new work right, that will also right. be starting from the very scratch. True, 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 true. So why not join here? Right. That will also save some time because in if I join another college, I have to do again the literature survey from the very beginning. Right, but right, when right. I'm joining the same college, I'm continuing that project only. True, 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 true. true. So it saves my time also. Right. It's I can go more deep into my research. Right, right. So, can you tell our viewer a uh, uh, little more about your research area so that they can relate to you? Uh, my research area is mainly into the cables. See, the cables are used to connect everywhere. So, we can we can only see transmission line only in a very few places. But the uh, cables are there that actually transmit the power from the substation to our house. Right. Sometimes there are submarine cables also which runs for more than 100 kilometers. So suppose in that cables, cables are have a fault. So faults happen to in our house. So sometimes that fault has happened in the cable. So my research area is to locate, is to predict the location of that fault. It can happen anywhere in the things. So after it can happen the post fault and the pre fault. Like the pre fault is that, ki, suppose I predict the fault is going to happen after three years in that particular location. Right, right, right. So that is my research works mainly. Uh, it includes more of a basics of circuit theory and electromagnetic theory. Okay, so see, what I have uh, observed, what my observation is, in today's time, most of the young student or, you know, bachelor or graduate student, they don't want to go for PhD because uh, we are surrounded by the technology where things are changing very rapidly at very fast rate. So how do you find motivation to spend four to five years on one consistent problem? Uh, that is the main thing like uh, if you are happy of getting into a corporate life and staying with that amount of fixed money it's good but if you want to explore the world if you want to know about things if you go to want to follow your passions see after phd is not only you are going to enter the academic field right, right, right you can start your own business you can have the idea what you have done into your phd and and start a new business you can start okay. a startup you can collab collaborate mainly people see how many there are 20 25 iits are right, there. Right, right. how many professors they take 25 30 each year right, right. there are phd so many number of phds right, right, right. So what they actually do is that after completing PSC, they have their own startup and each of the startup is going at a very fast rate. Right, right, right. After completing PSC, they are hiring the BTEC and the MTech student who studied with them. Right, right. So why not dream big? We spend five years to have a big thing in mind. Right, right, right. So not to sustain with a small thing corporate world, well, join a big world. Right, right. Have a big dream. Right. That is my thing. So, what is your long-term objective? Where you want to head from here now? I had also some plans in my mind, okay. and uh, that plans is to have us own startup. Okay. We will collaborate with the some corporate world, right, 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 right. and to make the startup a thing that has been means well established around the world. Right, right. See, there are already many students who internally wants to join the PhD. They have passion for research. Hmm. But uh, we are, uh, you know, unfortunately surrounded by some kind of the unguided people who push them, you know, this is a wastage of time. You are spending five years on a single lab. Better go do some uh, your job oriented courses. So that basically create a lot of obstacle in their mind, right? Hmm. So what message you want to convey to those students and as a student, what are some key characteristics one must identify within himself so that he can basically conclude, okay, he is a good researcher? See, when you join any corporate world, now, any corporate world, they have some project in there. Right, right, right. Okay. In PhD also, they are, most of the people think that it's an academic world. No, 
we also got some project right. we work on that project only right right the big the big thing is that after completing the project the corporate will not pay you that thing but after completing your phd you can have your own company right right, right, right. so don't go to once always follow your passion suppose you have some passions you go for the work it's okay but if you want to come here and join as a phd you will get your reward after completing the project right right right, right. that will not get in the corporate right, right right so my belief is that ki always follow your passions right mm, always follow your instincts great 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 second thing is as you joined here phd so if somebody new student is getting enrolled with iit roper for phd hmm. so what steps need to be taken to avail pm rf fellowship here uh, first i should say ki go through the basics very well okay because as doing phd your basics should be crystal clear True. in any subject in whether you are doing any engineering or any uh, science subject you should have your basics clear and the second thing is that talk to your guide have some proposals or project in the mind okay. so that it should be benefited to india not only india but industry purpose and through the world have some new ideas means what is happening right now if you had a good proposals if you had a good cgpa you will definitely get a place okay so you know when we talk about this research proposal hmm. so as a phd scholar how much time you people invest in finding a research problem that is related to something societal issue that is adding something new to the research library of our country and how important it is to find such kind of problem instead of working on vague issues uh, see there is no vague issues actually right. every problems are when we submit one paper when we publish one journal we publish one paper that topic is not over right there is always some things that is need to be explored always it has said that power cables in my area i am talking power cables has come to 1951 right more than that 18 1800 also some cables has been laid off so right now power cables there should be the power cable is over if this is a vague topic it is a much more earlier topic but still i am doing my research there are hundreds of people doing its research so no topic is a vague topic right because in research always wants to explore something that is not yet done that is what is research is right okay right, right. so i think ki took any topic but stay with that topic right, right. never leave it in between right, right whenever there is a turbulence in a plane plane does not say ki i will return back to my own place it's always stay there and then go back true, to true, its true. destination right, right right so stay in that topic fight hard right That's right, right. So Aritro it was truly you know a insightful conversation and very informative I am sure you know it will inspire many young researchers who are having some doubt and obstacle in the mind mm-hmm. so they will be in the position to make a clear decision That's and sure. start their journey with the academic position or PhD position yeah. we thanks a lot right thank you thank okay. you so much